Oh my god, my friend. Hello, this everyone. is the finals at last. <laughs> and we are back in the booth with Pietro over here. This is going to be Sebastian versus Pablo Pinto. Sebastian is playing Uzuri and he has to play uh, against the old man himself. All him. Wow. The, the, the last game was absolutely insane. It, I don't know if you heard me scream. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it was mm. crazy. And I've seen Pablo very improved from the game, but he did great. Yeah. And also, I just talked with him. He, he, he seemed very confident going into Uzuri. And I'm very confident being here commenting the same <laughs> guy I've been commenting all day. It seems like every time I'm streaming, <laughs> there's the guy something screen, with, yeah, yeah, like, between you two. I, I'm evoking Absolutely. the assassin. And that's actually a, a game I really look forward to because mm -hmm. I think that it's it's going to be a hard game from both. Of course, it's the final of a calling, so it's of course going to be a hard Absolutely, game. Yeah. But I think that uh, the Command and Conquerors might become very relevant into fatiguing Oldin because it kind of stops all the mm -hmm. defense reaction from Oldin and the Codex will allow uh, Sebastian to get more and more, like six copies in mm -hmm. total of it. So Oldin do have, does have to face like six CNC. But we've seen some parts of the deck list on uh, Pablo Pinto's side and he's running things like uh, Oasis Respite that can, can help like you play around all these uh, different attack reaction i mean the, the attack reaction from the hero power of uzuri so he can def exp um, he's probably one of the only the only decks that can actually defend these kinds of play the the common and cocker from the hero power yeah. um, before after an isolate so i'm excited to see how he's gonna do it i think i've heard that the the deck uh, the deck list from uh, sebastian's side is uh, built to beat all them too so there's a big part of the sideboard devoted yeah, to that so i guess we will see i think the players are almost ready to go they're still checking the deck lists and um yeah very excited to see what's going on That's i'm still a bit shaky from the from the last game, I have to tell you, because it was absolutely insane. It was an insane but, game. Yeah. I've watched it. I wasn't streaming, but I was watching some parts, and it was a very intense game. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that... I mean, there is also the advantage side for Sebastian that probably didn't have as much time as him to recover. Mm -hmm. So that may might be playing, uh, playing a role into this, but I think that... Uh, that Pablo, it's a very, very good player, and I really look forward to see how he's gonna face this new tricky opponent here. Mm -hmm. What's very important about this game too, apart from it being the finals of the biggest calling in Europe, I forgot to tell it <laughs> before at the, at the, the beginning of this uh, of this finals cast, is that if Olim wins, he gets straight to living legend status. He only needs a hundred points. So he'll be right out at 1,000 and then straight to Living Legend. So it is very important. So uh, he'll, he'll be able to be played before the next ban and restricted list. But after that, he's gone forever. And I know a lot of people are waiting for that. So I think that the chat is going to really, really be rooting for Pablo. I would love to see Uzuri win as a hero in mm -hmm. general. But I think I, I, I love Pablo and, you know, it's a friend of mine and I'm, I'm happy to see him going so far since he didn't start the best this tournament and I think the whole chat just wants the whole community just wants to see all them gone and that uh, actually might be the case today I don't know if I want him gone actually because come on <laughs> did you see the last game we watched yeah it was probably one of the most exciting games of flesh and blood we've ever seen so why would you uh, want to stop seeing that yeah, yeah I agree, I agree. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm talking for the chat. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, chat. Yeah, obviously, chat. The most important person in here yeah. today. But yeah, I mean, I wish I could watch these kinds of game all the time. I would. I could play these kind of games. All I, the time. I wouldn't. No, because that that'd be over way faster than that if it was me playing. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love to watch them. Also, chat. Make sure to take this occasion to subscribe to the Eye of Ophelia channel. A big, big. A thank from there should I mean from me and I guess from all the community for what uh, you're doing here. Your work is amazing. Thank to all the people you're not seeing. It's you always see us, but there is a lot of people a behind, lot of, the, behind scenes, the scenes, yeah. making sure that the broadcast is as good as possible. Uh, yeah, going on a lot of people mm -hmm. that are working together as a big team to make sure that these events always get to the best possible outcome. And so I think we should take this occasion to thank everyone for the effort as well. 
But of course, a sub for the YouTube and Twitch of the IO feed is always welcome. Make sure you show them your gratitude. Thank yeah. you so much. Romani. And don't hesitate to go to Ark's channel too. So, yeah. It's, uh, I mean, all the content creators for Flesh and Blood, we're doing what we can to, to help this game grow. But uh, when we see these, uh, these fantastic players and when we see the way, the way they display sportsmanship and uh, the way they are, they are making sure that the, the game grows in, the, in their own way, it's very impressive to see how, the, how Flesh and Blood has managed to, to put together such a great community, great event. Oh, thank you, Cojoncillo, Cojoncillo, oh, 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 yeah, for, for, for the, the prime sub, yeah, thank you so thank much. You. That's very nice of you. Is and Pablo a living legend by now? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think that we need to send Pablo in living legend. I think that might be uh -huh. the guy that needs to go in living legend. Also, also, very, very important. I would like to thank Play In for the sponsorship of the stream. Make sure you go check out the, the shop that's sponsoring this whole uh, casting. And you'll find a link in the, from the chatbot. Make sure you go checking them out. Thanks for the support they're giving to Flesh and Blood community. So give them a visit. Yeah, F Plane is actually a very important store in the French TCG scene, and they've been support supporting us for a while. Then we uh, organized the first big, uh, biggest event in France at their store last year for the 1,000 uh, subscribe, uh, the 1,000 uh, Discord members and in the French community. So it was a, it was a big event and. Uh, yeah, they've been with us for a while now, and we've, we are very grateful for them and for the support of the other year, over the years. Oh, attacking with Thunderquake, making sure that, yeah, Sebastian Kleiner has to, has to use three cards already. And it might be a fatting game, actually, so this, this, uh, this triple block might be relevant further down the line. And so you can see the Van Brace of the Vanguard on the... Um, Oh, the Van of Determination. I don't yeah. know that. I'm, I'm a Bolton player, sorry, so I'm saying Van yeah, yeah, of the yeah, Vanguard, of but it's V of the Vanguard and Van of Determination, of yes. course. But yeah, very yeah. important card in the matchup, probably, to make sure that these, that these break points actually hit. Yeah, and that's gonna. I think Uzuri has a lot to shut off holding mm -hmm. a plan for the long game if he's gonna go play Fatigue. And I think that's, I, that's gonna be the plan of holding. But, and these three cards, as you said at the beginning, might be very relevant for mm -hmm. the longer game. And I think we'll see a lot of dagger attacks that's, that's going to be very hard for all them to block and deal with because they are piercing, the equipment is kind of useless yeah. against them. And I think this is going to be kind of the or overall feeling of the game. Uzuri is going to try to push damage through with the daggers, make sure that he keeps a, a, a lot of cards in the deck for the later part of the game. Yeah, it's because good. you can't really afford to let these daggers hit, you know, it's going to make your, uh, your, your attack actions less relevant to block. And, uh, but there you go, Pablo didn't block it, I guess. Yeah, he took the damage, I think. But we don't see it displayed, so maybe we should make sure that the, what, that the health, they're using the tablet to make sure that the health is displayed correctly. We're gonna make sure that the life is totally is correct, uh, but don't worry, we, it's, we have time to fix that today. Everything is gonna be working perfectly all together to make this uh, the perfect stream. In fact, coming for one, and Pablo he, here has to think about, you know. Yeah, he's using the, the crown to, to make sure that this doesn't hit. And then... Oh, I, so... I think you can react with the Vambres, right? Yeah. Can we can we see the Vambres of Determination? Because that's a very relevant card to... Yeah, I mean, it's kind basically the same cancelling effect. Cancelling out mm -hmm. the, the crown. Mm -hmm. It's literally one resource to uh, cancelling the crown, which is very relevant on, on the long game. Yeah, and now Pablo is forced to overblock yeah, with the with the brothers in arms and the shield and the free defense attack to make sure that uh, there's no way for Sebastian to to use Uzuri's ability and to put together a, and, in fact and to send a big attack his way. Maybe a death touch, maybe a command and conquer.
and just attacking with Titan's Fist now. And people are saying in chat that uh, the best weapon in this matchup is probably the Sledge of Anvilheim. But they, I think Pablo values the shield a little bit more, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I think the shield is relevant if you think that your opponent is coming with Vambres of Determination. It makes it easier to, to block these breakpoints. And uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Pablo Pintor has a plan, you know, for this kind of matchup. I know that chat is the best, but I mean, Pablo, Pablo Pintor has Pablo to be good, the right? Chat. Yeah. Pablo is the chat. Honestly. Maybe yeah. Uh, if if someone can beat chat, it's probably Pablo Pinto. Scale pillar stops the shield. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but we've seen on the first attack that uh, even Sebastian himself uh, attacked with the spider's bite. So scale pillar can be relevant if uh, Sebastian chooses to attack with it, but you usually can't attack with both weapons. What is that attack coming in, dominating it? Yeah, it's isolate, so it attacks for free. Uh, the, 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 actually, the, the power of the attack is irrelevant, but it attacks for free. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and there, there you go, a common and conquer First very common early. Conquer. Yeah. Dominated conquer and conquer. Uh -huh. like so, the common is not dominated, yeah. but effectively it is. So does he have something like one of these Oasis Respite that we saw last turn? And he's pitching the for activating the... The, the, the Vambrace, yeah. So there's no way to prevent any of the damage with the crown. But he, can he would be able... He would, Alden could still play Oasis Respite. Yeah. Getting a card away from the arsenal. So yeah, Pablo is taking it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard matchup for sure. But he came prepared because we've seen, I think he I saw a Sigil of Solace in his hand, so it means that he wants to, to weather the storm when there's a Command and Conquer and then get some health back. Maybe he can afford to, to lose some health in the, on these uh, big Command and Conquer attacks and uh, just come back with his own Command and Conquer like he does this way. Use Mala Pummel on that CNC. Oh yeah, it is. A, it's, it's it a is a, the tunic turn, so he actually has two it resources available. And if he has a pummel, but I think I've seen. A, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen a sigil in his hand. You saw a sigil, so maybe yeah. he's bluffing the pummel to make mm -hmm. sure that like threaten Uzuri was with the possibility of a pummel, and then uh, um, <laughs> does he paint? <laughs> Pintor paints, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Nimpo. Thank you so much. And once again, if you want to see more Flesh and Blood content in the next few weeks, you can just sub to the channel or follow us, and we'll make sure that you can. Uh, you can get notifications when we go live with some more events because I think you're uh, you're also casting the the battle art at Metropole Ruhr in two weeks. Yes. Yeah. So we'll yes. be casting not in the same booth, but we'll be casting uh, in, in parallel. Yeah, in parallel. That's so if you're fun. Italian, you can go with Arc, and if you're French, you can come with us. We'll be casting it in French, but uh, there's going to be other casters in English. I yeah. think there's going to be uh, casters in Spanish too, so that's the whole European community will be here. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, and it's going to be a great event. Just if there is any Italian in the chat, I will just share my channel so that yeah, we are, we're sharing, uh, sharing it every 15 minutes, but don't hesitate ah, okay. and share it now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's fine, we're sending guys. the links. Uh, no, that's fine, guys. There's a bot doing it. Okay, a bot, bot is replacing me. you already. Bot, do my work. <laughs> oh, the scale pillar is coming in Ooh, now. Look at that. Thanks for the sub, Azzy Ryan. Wow. That is a lot of followers now. Yeah, nice, <laughs> nice. That's good. I mean, you deserve it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, so scale pillar now. Yeah, the scale pillar is coming in. So no blocks from the equipment this turn. If he chooses to do so, it's going to be less effective at least. Oh, and they're looking for a scrap. I know you like this card. 
I love looking for scars, especially in limited. It's a great card because it's the typical card that people overlook because <laughs> yeah. it blocks for two. It's one for four. It uh -huh. doesn't look that good, but actually, it can become very threatening because it can become. If you banish a card from your graveyard, it you, becomes you get a go five again. go again yeah. for one in generic. It's 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 very very strong. But I that's think, the thing. You need these one attack cards, and some decks can't afford to run these. But in uh, it's uh, especially good in uh, in Uzuri because you can play with the isolates, who are good yeah. cards on their own for the game plan, and also you can use them to um, to banish them with looking for scrap to get these to go again. So that you kind of compensate all the costs, like the base one attacks with the fact that you also get mm -hmm. extra damage out of them and extra pressure for the opponent. Thanks for the sub, Jonah, Jonah MTE. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay. So well, yeah, that... Pablo is blocking, but he only blocked four, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Going already with the mulch. Young. He's playing the mulches, the blue mulches. Uh, it's not the first one we see with mulch, yeah, right? I've, yeah, we've I've seen Natalia friend, yesterday. Yeah, Natalia, yeah, Natalia was playing, playing well. mulches too, so I guess it it came back. Okay, blocking for four now with the shield and the Macho Grande. And I think Sebastian said, all right. Oh, no, he didn't say all right. He said, yeah, there's a CNC again. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and there was nothing in the arsenal uh, apart from the Sigil of Solace that I... But I called earlier, and there you go. That's pretty very good happy. Pablo. Yeah, very, uh, Pablo has to be very happy about this play. Yeah. He, he, I mean, he was begging his opponent to throw the CNC at him. I think that we need to implement some way to have a count on the cards. Yeah, that's so what that I was talking about last last uh, round. I mean, in the semifinals, I was uh, thinking that maybe he already can do it. I don't know if it's. Feasible easily, but she's a genius, so, so she'll probably find a way. Of course, I think you can. You can just uh, hire someone to count every mm -hmm. counter played, and then, and then put a counter in that. But that, I mean, there must be a way. There must be mm -hmm. a way. Or we'll find someone to get a very boring job for the next mm -hmm. uh, for the next event. Yeah, of course, the community of Flesh and Blood is growing and it's growing big. I think that the game is doing very well. I'm very happy to see the state the game is in right now. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, what do you think? Who has an advantage right now? Uh, it's very hard to say, but I mean, I have to, to go with Pablo because he's been so impressive in a matchup that was really... I mean, I think Lexi is a more difficult matchup for all of them. It has to be because it, there's so much damage and, and she has so many ways to push for it. But I, I, it's hard to tell because we, I mean, the, the deck lists from Uzuri are shifting from matchup for matchup. And um, I, I know that there's always a curveball coming from these decks and you don't know what to do. Yeah, but Sebastian must have been played again against a lot of holding mm -hmm. throughout the game throughout the day throughout the yesterday and he's still here do you know what was the score in the for both players in the in the in the rounds i think he was 10 and 3 and uh, pablo was 11 and 2 but i'm not sure so coming in with the spider's bite there pablo is taking it oh and the scale pillar now But we see a big defense reaction in, in Pablo's hand. But I don't think he wants to use it on the scale pillar. No, no, not but on the scale pillar. But the, yeah, he yeah. doesn't want to take uh -huh. the damage from the scale pillar. Yeah. Because then, you know, I think he might be using the crown here to prevent that scale pillar and make sure that he can react. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the sub, Joe. And there's a high plan. Oh yeah, I didn't notice it at the at the top of the of the chat. Sorry guys. Yeah, there's a high plan. So lots of hype in this game. Nice. Oh, and the Vambres activation for this next attack. So now. Crowns that get I, I, I have no idea what's right? in. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. The that's big CNC the... probably attacking for seven or seven. I would say seven. Yeah, I think it's the. the and yeah, Stone's response. Stone's and that's the red one, so blocking it very efficiently. Pretty good. Another yeah. masterful defense by Pablo Pitar. You know, last game he displayed everything that's amazing about this game. It's that 
when you know how to defend, you have a big edge against all of your opponents. It's the most difficult uh, skill to acquire, I think, in Flesh and Blood, being able to defend. And, and now mm. coming back with the big spinal crush. So there you go. How do you block this? You don't. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't block it, you can't get go again, yeah, which is very true. annoying what, know, when you want you to need, attack with spiders. You need to block by, yeah. at least six damage. Six, yeah. And make sure that you don't get the crush to trigger. Mm -hmm. And also, what do you mean Canyon players are beyond any help? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to answer to that. Don't comment. try to tilt Ark, please. You, you're tilting yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, I need him for this game, please. Uh, today I'm a Yoji player. Today I'm a Guardian player, <laughs> not, not a Kano Oh, player. yeah. Anyways, uh, I was saying that, yeah, you don't need to get the crush, but you cannot block it full set. And in, in general, Zuri is very happy to block with two cards because mm -hmm. she's very good at playing with only two cards, just because of her, her thing. And also, just getting one damage through it, it it's still okay -ish. And I think that Uzuri is definitely equipped to be playing the, the long game. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that. He's using the tunic, I think. Oh, to... and the leave no yeah. witnesses at the end of the chain. So, yeah. And he, Pablo took both damage. It's not going to yeah, be so that if, easy to do If he wants that. to block this, he needs to give away two attack action cards. And he took it. There's no arsenal, so that he does, he, he's not losing any card, he's just losing health. And I guess he was okay with, uh, with not blocking anything there. Yeah. So now it's his Tunic turn. I didn't see the attacks yet. Oh! Wow. Wow, the House the Ancient. So Rouse coming in ancient. for seven, go again, because he has uh, a Spinal Crush that's and huge. a Debilitate in hand, so that's, that's 15. 15 total power in hand, so there you go. And you know after that that there's gonna be a spinal crush, so that's really a, a lose lose situation for Sebastian. He has to block somehow, but the, the big spinal crush is gonna be coming next. So, yeah, going down to 25 and then the spinal crush, wow. so Sebastian has that's, to block it. That's a big, big swing. Wow, that's oh. He's not even doing that now. He's not blocking. No, he's keeping the tunic counter Sorry, he's and he's just attacking with the Titan's Fist. Nice. Leave no witness being used to block. The second one? And keeping one card in yeah. Arsenal. Not over committing, that can also mm -hmm. be a problem in this kind of a matchup. Sometimes but see... bear in mind that we haven't seen any Codex yet. Yeah, when, once the Codex starts to get in, it's going to be very good oh, yeah. for Uzuri. It's going to be Uzuri time. Mm -hmm. But I think we'll, we, we can see, I mean, that's, I'm sure that the Codex will be used to fetch that common and conquer for mm -hmm. the graveyard and make sure to keep getting damage through disabling all the reactions, which mm -hmm. uh, is what I would expect, I would, 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 would make more sense in this case. And, I mean, look at the life total, they're not so far away, and I don't know if this is going to really be a fatigue game, because... There is still a lot of cards in the deck with those with that life total for this to become a super grind if I think mm -hmm. game. It's probably gonna be a very tough game for like very tight game from both sides. But I think that we might not get to the end of the deck as last round. What do mm -hmm. you think? I mean, it's hard to. I don't know. Um, I was looking actually at the at the board, and I, I think they were stopping the play. Oh no, that's okay. Okay. So yeah, chat, chat is hating on me because I forgot that uh, that Spinal Crush that it costs five. But I'm I used to be a, a Guardian player, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, attacking with the third, leave no witnesses for four. That's the last one, right? I think that's the last one. But you know, there there are codexes in this yeah, deck, yeah, so it's, it's never the last, it's one, never the last one. Yeah, there's at least three three other coming for possibly. And thanks Johnny United for the for the for the sub by the way no not for I was uh, saying thanks for the follow but thanks for the sub Yeah so many so many codexes and so many other live no witnesses coming blocking with another march He doesn't have the yeah he needs to to get rid of the card from the top of his deck no arsenal there so that's okay only damage 
But I love these games where you know they're setting up something for the long game, for the end of the game, and uh, at this, uh, at, at some point in the next 15, uh, 15 or 20 minutes, we're gonna see exactly what uh, what Pedro has managed to put together in his pitch stack, and that's gonna be, yeah, probably very impressive. Of course, I think. That Other choke slam now. We all know that Pedro is not. Uh, he knows what he's doing. He's not just. He's, being very careful mm -hmm. with his putting down, especially also with the crown, and using all the resources he has to make sure to get all the possible damage through all the possible efficient out of his flames. And this this choke slam, it's it shows that he's not really going for the full fatigue game. I think that the fact that he decides to mm -hmm. to attacking applying pressure on Zuri is because he knows that maybe a long grindy game kind of helps Azuri go through this. So yeah. I think he, he does want to keep Sebastian in check and forcing the block out of him, not to be overwhelmed from the daggers. But that's another way to fatigue your opponent, you know? You force him to block and uh, make sure that he has small small swing backs when he attacks. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice, pretty efficient way to, to make sure that you can fatigue him out in, uh, in the long game. This choke slam, the, I mean, the crush, It's not really relevant, right? No, I don't sometimes, think Sometimes games. these Uzuri decks, they run attack reactions, but I don't know if that's something that's going to happen in this game. I don't know if you pack them uh, against all them. I'm not sure, because I'm not an Uzuri player. <laughs> <laughs> And we don't have the, the decks list, by the way, so we can just guess what these guys are playing. But well, uh, we? We, we, we've seen Pablo's deck, but uh, I don't know if we've seen Sebastian against an old game player, so it's hard to know what, uh, no, I we what didn't he's going to play stream. against him. Yeah. And do you think we, we could get the deck list or we are not allowed to talk about them? Because they are no, playing it's the finals and the, so we, these are open deck list. Yeah, yeah. So I think we will be able it's to, the last to game, actually... So, but I don't have the deck list. We yeah. had the information maybe if someone If any judge is listening to the stream, maybe they can bring them to us. That would be mm -hmm. amazing for the chat, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, no deck list for now. Oh, the Hurl coming in. I love this card, by the way. Yeah? Yeah, it's, I think it's one of my favorite cards in, in Outsiders in Limited. General? Okay. No, no, in no, Outsiders in Limited, yeah, yeah. not in general. I mean, I talked about my favorite card, it's Raiden. Or maybe Spirit of Arena, but... Spirit of Arena. Yeah. Raiden or Spirit of Arena. I mean... Too, too much light for the, for, yeah, the, uh, for, for the pits. For a wizard like you, yeah. No, for the wizard it's okay, but for <laughs> the pits it's... Uh, you, if you go into oh, the pits, yeah. ooh, look at that. Look so that's hurl into spider's bite into wow. death touch so wow. that's yeah that's a big turn for zuri yeah death touch coming after the dagger means it's gonna be a hard hard thing to block but you see now he can use because uh because sebastian didn't attack with the scape you know he can use his uh, equipment to block efficiently with the fate force in blocking for six perfectly so no one hit but still He has to give a counter. He has to start yeah. using the equipment, and this is something that Uzu really, really wants to start seeing at this point of the game. Mm -hmm. He cannot let his opponent to just keep the counters on that on, on the equipment because that's effectively extra life that he needs to get rid of before Definitely, he yeah. can actually push some damage to. And, and look, I think he's committed to just uh, fatiguing him by by attacking. You know, losing cards by uh, by blocking, and then uh, yeah. because this thunderquake, you don't usually. Play it unless you wanna smash your opponent yeah, you with sma damage <laughs> on the face. I mean, yeah, that doesn't. That sounds. That sounds And look at good. that art on Thunderquake. Amazing, crushing skeletons. Wow, that's I, I love these guardian cards by the way. You. And also because if you think about a fatigue game, it's all about keeping more cards than your opponent. Mm -hmm. And here you're using one card. And forcing your opponent to give you at least two cards and still getting some damage. To so that's three cards actually. Yeah. yeah of course There's a wither, a barging beat down, and a nourishing emptiness. Nice. And we have the deck list, by the way. Awesome. Let me take a look. Yeah, we're taking a look at the deck list right now. So we'll be able to tell you more about how these look like.
Yeah, so there is no, no attack reaction on um, on Sebastian's in Sebastian's decklist. So there I you don't go. see anything weird from Olin's side. He's playing a heart of Fiandel. Really yeah, we saw it last last um, game, and it came in really clutch. I mean, I'm sure that everyone that saw last game could tell pretty much all the cards that Pablo. <laughs> we is saw him. We saw them two or twice. Yeah, we, twice or yeah. thrice. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he really went through the whole thing. Uh -huh. And and I think that's what's more interesting here. Probably is the realist. And there is no sledge actually, so yeah, it no didn't. Sledge. Yeah, no not sledge. Even, no, he's he has an autos for some matchups, but no sledge in uh, in his deck list, so he can even uh, play it out of his sideboard if he wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. An autos plus Van Bryce, Yeah, I think that was a, a tech that was developed by the. By Nick Butcher for the for the Pro Tour, the Van Brais with the Anotos, right? I uh, don't know if anyone can I'm confirm, sure but I think I've seen the decklist pop up, and Nick Butcher was uh, was talking about it online. Anotos plus Bracers is, I think, something you need sometimes mm -hmm. in, this, in this meta, no? Absolutely, yeah. I think that look at the, how long it's uh, Uzuri think it's it's Uzuri thinking about this. It's really oh, oh the give and take, give and take. Nice. Look at that. Make sure you get all the copies you can right now because after <laughs> and this, Pablo wants to look at it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Pablo is reading a card. Look at that, Pablo reading a card. That's not something that happens every day. And that's especially good in these matchups where you know that the game is gonna go long. You get one card back on the top of your deck. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty good for the long game. Mm -hmm. I love the card, by the way. But there you go. Pablo had an, Ooh, a, a defense reaction. Oh, nice. So it only works if it's defended, as you can see, by an attack action. But that was... That might be That was a defense that. reaction. But does Pablo have another one? I mean, it's old him, right? Well, so. yeah, but if you had a defense reaction in every single hand, it would be bad, I guess. Of course, of course. You'd be retired. Yeah, but it wouldn't <laughs> surprise me if he actually had a second one. Yeah. Uh, he's still thinking about it. Maybe he has one of these Oasis Respite too, who could block it quite efficiently. Mm hmm. He can actually pitch over pitch. He can just pitch two reds and then a, and then a blue to attack with the hammer, which is probably what he did. And thanks for the for the subs. I think I missed some subs, so thank you so much, guys. Once again, if you want to follow, there's more action coming in the next few weeks. More flesh and blood. Oh, he had the <laughs> he had the sink below, by the way. So. Uh, Flow, yeah, so just oui. to finish that, you can follow us and follow Ark on his social media. He, he did have a second yeah. uh, reaction. That's <laughs> not exactly what Sebastian wants to see there. And, and just attacking that, with, the, with, yeah, the, with the spider's bite, yeah. trying to, to take advantage of, the, of, this, of this tunic resource. It, it didn't seem like he had much to do with the card he has left in his hand, so... Probably not very happy about just that, that small spider's bite attack at the end of the chain, you know? What you, what the, yeah. Every damage but not, counts. Not the best thing in what you, you can do with, uh, with these of resources. Of course. But I mean, I that's the same price as a common and conquer, right? Yes, but <laughs> get, you're getting one damage too for sure because yeah. it's not going to get, and you keep one card more in your mm -hmm. deck. So on the long game, it's. Ooh, and you, there's it's a CNC, broke. so. A CNC. How many cards does he have left in hand? So, oh, he has only has one, but once again, he has the tunic counter, the tunic resource left. So, if like there's pummel. a pummel, yeah, it always smells like pummel when you're playing against guardians yeah. with it's two so resources scary. left. That's so scary. Yeah. With, the, when, with the tunic, it's very sneaky. Mm -hmm. We don't know if he has it. Did you see it? Did you see a I know, no, I don't know if he has it, but uh, we do not. I know. mean, I hope we're gonna see a CNC into pummel because that's. 
probably one of the, one of the strongest attacks that, uh, that Guardians can do. Mm. No! Oh. Oof! Oof! That has to be scary for Sebastian. Every time yeah, you do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your hands of must course. be shaking. Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, there is high stakes here. It's the final of a call. What is the price for this uh, tournament? You know the price? Four. For the for the first place, what are they playing for? I don't even know, man. You don't know? No. We should. Uh, we should. We, we should. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure it's a big chunk of money and some cool cards mm -hmm. and a trophy, a beautiful trophy. Also, you know. Oh, chat knows. Chat of knows. Chat chat knows. Of it's course, chat knows. Five K and now, crowd yeah. extended R. Let's go, Pablo. 5k. 5k. Oh he, oh, he did it once again. again. The sigil from baited, the Arsenal baiting the common and coca. Amazing. Sigil. Amazing play. <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. Every Super single IQ time. Yeah. Pablo. Somehow he's always managing to bait that CNC. Ooh. Oh, and that's a pulverize coming back. Attacking for 14 wow. now. And even if Sebastian blocks it out, it's going to leak some damage. I mean, because you, you can block only block for 12, usually. Unless oh no, he has, he has, a, I think he has a fate for sin, yeah. yeah. So it's might be able to block for 11. And maybe with, it's gonna give some, some arsenal. For, for 13, some, some for thir 13, sorry. It's 13? If he has uh, three, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, three blocks and, uh, and a D react, maybe. But he really doesn't want to get that uh, minus four on the next attack. I mean, if you block with your whole hand, it doesn't matter because there's going to be no attack, right? Uh, also, but I think he has also, a codex too. Also, yeah. Also, if you think about it, for Zuri getting hit by Kamal uh -huh. is not that bad because you can just switch the attack. So he's taking six plus, uh, he's blocking for six plus four, but he's keeping yeah. the codex. He doesn't want to block with it, so he he'll be able to arsenal it. Yeah. And try to come back with a stronger turn later, but yeah. he's still taking some damage there. It's a big punch. Uh, yeah. Big, big Going punch. down to 14. A magic punch. Yeah, there you go. Wow. And this at work once again. Pretty big Amazing. Right there. I hope we'll see the character on this card soon. I know there's some speculation that it could be the a character uh, named Jarl Vetraidi that we uh, we uh, we can read about in the in the flavor text of some cards yeah but probably not in the next Ooh. oh no probably not because next set is going to be light uh -huh. and yeah. darkness is shadow and light mm -hmm. and we see another big Spinal swing crush. we yeah. can really see holding being uh, not really on the defensive side yeah switching to the a big offensive to another after 14 9 10 it's really really being a guardian right now Punching with super, <laughs> super big attacks, and I think the chat is really, really looking forward to see all them get out of the meta. Looks like it, yeah. Also, okay, blocking for good, seven. That's still mm -hmm. a good block for seven. Block is good. I don't know if he's thanks shoot for the too. sub, Ledon. Thank you, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the Eye of Ophidia. Show them some love and show some love also to play in our sponsor. You'll find a link. In the chat, the bot will show you all the relevant links, so make sure to support everyone that's making possible this amazing stream. Thanks, Ark. No problem. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, <laughs> My Thanks for doing it, because I always forget to mention our sponsor, so it's good that you do it more often than I do. But yeah, a big help playing, helping, up, helping us set up this... Uh, this broadcast for you guys. Let's go, Pablo. Yeah. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. the Yarl will be a Shadow Guardian, actually. I agree Ooh, with Sigma Das. Guardian. But I, I think we've I seen would... on some cards that he's uh, crushing on some, on some uh, Demonastery um, members. So it doesn't look like he's uh, crushing the, the Light Heroes, more like the on the shadowy side. Yeah. Also, I would expect more uh, more light guardians than shadow mm -hmm. guardians. And I want to see a shadow wizard. James, if you're watching this, 
Shadow Wizard. Anyways, we can see a double <laughs> dagger attack from Sebastian's side, followed by a CNC that was getting back with the Codex. So mm -hmm. Sebastian is gonna get the draw from the Ponder, and uh, Pablo is getting that uh, frailty token. That's not so not so annoying for mm -hmm. Pablo probably, but that CNC it's gonna be hard to deal with. It's gonna <laughs> leak some damage through. Maybe not because oh, yeah, there oh, you go. We talked about it earlier during this game, and he has the Oasis Respite, and that's exactly for that reason that he's playing them. Amazing play. Two you magic, we already have a Shadow Brew. I'm sure Mansant would be very happy to see one, yeah. but we already saw one. So I mean, Mansant is already crushing everybody Shadow with it. Light mechanologies, come on guys, it's more light. Mechanologies is more light. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you can actually Tunic and Vambrace. Yeah, getting... But uh, he's not doing it. But I think... Oh no, because that's for seven. Oh no, that's seven, for six because of the spider's yeah. bite. It would be for six. So yeah. he could have done it, actually. He could have. But maybe he wanted to use the resource for more. But he only blocked for, for two with the attack, the attack action because he didn't block the spider's bite. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Capolo. What if they did an elemental guardian with all three elements? That'd be cool and new. <laughs> I wish we could see that, yeah. yeah. That was As a... I talked about earlier, I've never been able to play Starvo no? because, yeah, he went to Living Legend too fast oh, wow. and that, that was no, I had, I no a... event in my area, so... <laughs> I have a pretty fun story with Starvo. I, after I won the Nationals, I didn't play for months and then Starvo came out and then I had I, I had to do my master thesis, got the thesis, I had one day to prepare for the ProQuest. I was like, hmm, what's going on in Flesh and Blood? I didn't play in months. I, I look at Sarvo, I was like, hmm, that seems pretty good. <laughs> and I played two games or three. And then I was like, nah, okay, it's good, but I, I'm not ready. I cannot play a ProQuest. So I just went partying. And I did wake up in time, so I decided to go. I went 9-0. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of Starvo, That's the power yeah. Of Starvo. For you kids, if you weren't born when Starvo was still there, <laughs> just know that it was some impressive display of power, yeah. Ooh, one sneaky. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to block attack. this infect? <laughs> infect for one. Hey, Pablo, do you want to block this infect? If you don't, yeah, no, you get a block. I don't have anything road. sneaky, sneaky to do. If don't worry. You do. Oh, crown activation. Will we see the Sabambras here? Well, I hope we will because that's the reason. What, that's yeah, the reason why and that's the it, reason right? where we have you have it in the deck list for this particular matchup. He was so strong that he hit one thousand yeah. five hundred points. Yeah, he almost hit one thousand before the 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 ban list, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was just a little under that, so he had we. We had to wait for a little while, and in the meantime, we managed to to get back, to, to get up to one thousand five hundred. So look at that! Uh, this is going to be switch with a pay. Is that a? I, I... Oh. Pay? No. No, it is, it is a surgical extraction. Okay, yeah. sorry, with the arts, I'm not super. Oh, good. <laughs> and there is. Uh, and yeah, and there react. is a fate for sin next. Fate for sin to block it out. Honestly, when I'm, I'm reacting to chat, but the Starvo meta wasn't that bad because the games were still good. I mean, yeah. there were obviously a lot, of, a lot of Starvos, but the games were cool. I mean, the, the yeah. hero did magical things and it was fun to watch. It was explosive and it was just a great deck all around. I had a lovely time playing Starvo. Yeah, I just it was played fun. It, you know, those 10 games and mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> and I never played it. I got bored after that, but it was very fun to play for yeah. a short while. And also, we can see that Pablo does, is going to not get the heart, the heart of a handle trigger because he has more life than his opponent. Mm -hmm. And going for a CNC, which might be punishing depending on what Uzuri has in Arsenal. So there's still, yeah, st still two resources available and one card in hand for Pablo. He just casually left it on the board. Like, <laughs> is that a pearl? It's a hundred. It's a hundred. Yeah, it's a hundred. And if yeah, 
if he wins today, he goes straight to Living Legend. I mean, yeah, he probably would have been able to go to Living Legend because of the RTN season, but it's more, I mean, he's going out in style if, if Pablo Pitor himself gets him, to the, gets him there, you know? Please, Please pummel this CNC. <laughs> wow, triple block from for nine. Missouri. Yeah. It's nine. That doesn't block a pummel. Okay. I don't Unless it's a blue one. Unless it's another it was another bluff from Pablo. How many pummel are there in the list? Let me see. There's three, three, three reds red? and no blues. No blues. So... Of course, if you know the... Yeah, the I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it. I was watching the Proto and I remember that he sent Chain to the living legend, yeah. Pablo the hero killer. Pummel in hand now. He wasn't the one that sent Prism to living legend, though. That, that was my friend uh, Yoris that we watched yesterday on the, on the first game with the yeah. Icelander. Yeah. The Prism Slayer. But yeah, game. if he does win today, he's, he'll have sent two heroes to the living legend, <laughs> to the living legend afterlife, which is impressive. Yeah, true. Crown activation here. Cycling a card. Uh -huh. Two floating. And I'll, I'm some thinking to do. Oh, well, not so much. Crane of crush <laughs> with two floating and a pummel in hand. Usually, see it pitched or uh, block, blocked, or uh, well, used to block. So Sebastian wow. has to add to read the the, the text. Wow. But the text is not very relevant because Crane of crush is attacking for yeah, eight, right? It it prevents you. Yeah, attacking for eight and prevents you from drawing cards during your turn if you if you got crushed by it. So it's not. I mean. This might be... Usury is not, very, uh, is not the deck that's known to, to draw a lot of cards anyway, but the, the hit, the, the eight attack is relevant though. Yeah, but I do think that the, those two wrestlers floating are yeah. kind of telegraphing the Pummel. Mm -hmm. The only thing Sebastian needs to decide here is whether Pablo is bluffing or not. Yeah, because yeah, he had um, he crowned away the card he had last time, the last turn with the CNC, so we don't even know what it is. There's no way to know. Yeah. But also, uh, Sebastian has a Fate for Sin in hand, which is mm -hmm. maybe very good to block as a reaction to the farm. Yeah. But blocking for eight with, uh, with cards from your hand, it's, it's pretty difficult. So usually your cards block for three in, uh, in Yuzuri. There you go. Block for six. And there you go, oh, the big pummel. So that's 12 damage. 12 so far, damage. he's only blocking for three. I think wow. there's a defense reaction, as you said. So yeah, he might be blocking for, for said seven. But Maybe he has a second damage. one. Still getting damage. That's Pummeled. Very big one. Does he have the, the defense reactions now? So he'll, he'll lose a card. Are you sure about this defense reaction, the fate for sin? I think I've seen a fate for okay. sin. Okay. Oh yeah, there, there it is. is. So that's seven, but that you still lose a card and take five damage, going yeah. down to six. So hit effect now, yeah, five yeah, damage. Yeah, five damage. And discarding, and discarding. card. That's pretty harsh. It? Yeah. I think I don't know why they decided to block like that because you probably couldn't have blocked it out anyways without risking the. But you know, after being bluffed out two times by Pablo, maybe it was like, yeah, I, I don't want to be bluffed again. There's yeah. another pummel in uh, Pablo's hand. And he now. still has a turn with one, uh, mm -hmm. one card left and one in Arsenal, right? Look, Tunic Tressors coming for one. Uh, that yellow touch, it's touch. A, that yellow one, so it's only coming oh. for five, but yeah. that's still a breakpoint over three, so it's gonna force two block, and a, or Pablo will have to mm -hmm. take a token. At this point, Pablo is, must be please, be feeling pretty comfortable with the state the game is in, because he has a big life advantage yeah. on his opponent. Ten is huge. It's, it's very at this yeah. point of the game, it's huge. In such and a grindy matchup. I think that Sebastian might have already played all the Command and Conquers. So I'm not sure about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he has, but he can just use them again with the Codex. But, but one Codex is gone. He has one Codex in his hand. Okay, so blocking for five. Yeah, fully blocked. Perfect. 
Very well done from Pablo. Using the tunic to pay mm -hmm. for the shield as a very efficient, do mm -hmm. super efficient, making sure to get another counter back in his yeah. own turn. And here we saw this is the time for Pablo to start just blocking everything out and going for the hammer. The hammer is coming for four, probably every attack, which is if blocked only with one card from. From Sebastian hand, unless it's a defense reaction that blocks for four, it's gonna be six more turns of that, and then mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. So Sebastian soon, not yet, but soon will need to start committing two cards to the block or try to find the the, the react mm -hmm. to be able to block properly. And at the same time, Sebastian needs to be able to get back at hold him at Pablo in this case to to put some pressure because the life difference is becoming huge. So there you go, he's taking one there. Yeah, one leaking through. Oh, oh there's another pommel. pommel, so he's down to one. Sebastian's going that's down to one, unless one. he has a defense reaction. No, that's it. Going down to one. Yeah, you don't usually see the, the pommels on the weapon attacks because there's no hit effect if it, hits, uh, if it targets uh, a weapon attack. Wow. But, but there, when you can put your opponent at one, it's perfect, right? Yeah. That's it. Pablo must be feeling very oh, well yeah. right now because he just can attack. He can block with three cards, attack with the armor, and eventually he's gonna just look. Kill the opponent. He's got a big card that could help, help him win Ooh. the game. Did he in just Tira Yeah, he has a Tira and a Macho Grande, so, so he can. He has yeah. three different options to close yeah. the game. He actually has three blues, including a Macho Grande, a Tira and uh, he has two dominating cards yeah. in hand. Yeah. So yeah, I think he can close so close it out. Remember, it's late. Sebastian mm -hmm. can attack twice thanks to these Snapdragon scalers, and we know that there's a a codex in the arsenal. So yeah, yeah probably. I think Pablo has to respect the, the yeah, output of, of damage that Sebastian can put together. Yeah. Cold day in hell. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye, bye old man. man. Yeah, people are already. Smell already, your later yeah, grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is already taking this for granted, but I think that Sebastian still might have a chance at coming back. Or you think I mean, it's, it's always not. possible, right? I yeah, mean, that's why pa we're here. Pablo can stop being the best player in the world and block like, like he shouldn't and, uh, and allow Sebastian a small window to come back. I don't know, but so far it's looking pretty good for Pablo. What's next? What's coming? Oh, the shakedown. Nice. Shakedown. But that, yeah. But it's gonna be stopped Oasis by this, respite. The, by the respite, yeah. Yep. And no reaction on Sebastian's side, and I, I think that's why Pablo can confidently use that uh, um, block like that with only one card and keep the Diosis respite, you know, yeah, because yeah. there's no there's no shred. Yeah. And then you can just uh, there's go no hammer, pummel. Hammer, 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 yeah. Hammer <laughs> and doing what the guardian does. And that's and two cards. You need to block start. with two cards. Yeah. Oh, I lose the tunic there. Or the Vambras. Mm -hmm. Vambras, maybe. But they do block for one, don't they? Yeah, but you need to pay. I so do. that's two cards anyway. Yeah. Unless you have the tunic, but yeah. It, it, I mean, it's basically the same. So you wait until you have the tunic and then you use the Vambras one turn mm -hmm. to block with the, the tunic and then you use the tunic. Mm -hmm. That would be the best. Yeah, probably. Block. But yeah, this is a pretty hard position to be in for Sebastian. Oh, nuclear Tofat is gonna cry when uh, when Oldim goes to Living Legend. Maybe I will too because he's one of my favorite heroes, actually. Hi, Sebastian is not having a good time here. Yeah. I mean, you're down to one against one of the, probably the best player in uh, arguably at, at least the best player in the world. So, yeah, not a comfortable situation no. to be in. Definitely one of the best players in Europe. Oh, double block. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you say that to, to any other uh, good and, uh, and high-ranked uh, competitive player in Europe that Pablo Pitar is the best, nobody is going to tell you no. True, that's true, that's true. <laughs> nobody is going to tell you no. I think I know better. I think I am. Maybe European. Hamilton? Yeah, but he's not European. But yeah, I mean, 
Oh, and Matthew is not as well because he's in the UK. He's in the UK, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's not yeah, part, he's of, not the, part yeah. of the European Union. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sorry, Matt. Coming for wow! Look at that. Go again yeah. on that. On the, that on the dash dash touch, reacted. Yeah. So that's coming for six. Is there another reaction hey, on Pablo's side? Sebastian is putting up a great fight, I would say. Still doing an amazing job. Not not a lot of damage, but still, still. that's going to be three, maybe two, if he wants to use the blood rod. But, but I think a, you want to use the the, codex, right? the inertia. Yeah, he has a codex now. But I think if there's no way for Sebastian to kill Pablo right now, he's gonna keep something just to finish him off. Does the caster sting the UAK floated off in the sea? Yeah, guys, we're just messing <laughs> with you. Don't get, don't, don't get. I mean, I'd it's be, I'd be happy if the UK came back to you, to the EU, you know. Yeah, I. You guys voted to to leave, so. I know that you are in our continent, guys. We're just kidding with you. We love you. We love you guys. We're, yeah. We are, we are with you. We are sorry that you had to leave. I'm sure you didn't want to. No, everyone. No, oh, yes, yes. We want to go away. Yeah. I wanted to keep you too, Hamsak, yeah, but yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We miss you guys. We miss you. <laughs> Maybe we will come back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Sorry. <laughs> It came up. It came up. But there yeah, was no I think, intention. Yeah, but Sebastian chose the blood rot park token. Yeah, he needs, I yeah, think he needs I think to he put. Want, he needs to put. But pressure. can he? I think you you have to. You have to bring his life down. And now. The payday. The leave no witnesses. No, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, leave no witnesses. So attacking for four, the the effect might be relevant because now there's a <laughs> there's a card in uh, Pablo's arsenal thanks to the codex. Not anymore, thanks to the yeah. crown. <laughs> there you go. Look at this nice frailty token. It's beautiful. It's written on it, so you know it's an actual frailty token. You can you can see that it's <laughs> super professional. No nasty drawing, you know, just a nice frailty token. I kind of love it when people draw their own uh, tokens. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. My I mean, friend Martin do it, right? is doing it with the with the spectral shields, and uh, he's a big prism player, and he's doing it with the spectral shield and the auras, and it looks and look disgusting. Look at Pablo; he's just <laughs> not attacking, just uh, preventing yeah. the damage. Being very careful here. So meticulous, yeah, that's amazing because he could easily go for the kill if he chose to. It would be more risky. Yeah. But yeah, he doesn't want to do it. He knows it's the finals. I he respects his opponent, and that's I think that's the right approach, you know. Yeah, maybe he's just waiting for the last pummel. Did he already play the three of them? I just saw no, two. No, only two. Yeah. But one might have gotten banished. But I'm not sure. I don't think so. There you go. So an attack with this with the scale pillar. An attack with the spiders right now. Is there another codex, maybe? We definitely hope to see some action here. Oh, so person D says that one pummel is banished? Yeah, one is okay, banished. maybe. Okay. <clears throat> so, no more hammer. But maybe you just need to wait for Oh, a the surgical extraction. So, do, does Pablo have any way to, to prevent the hit? There wow. you go. Was his respite. This guy always is a master. The, yeah, yeah, and always the right. This response. guy is a master. Wow. And these are his respites coming Maybe in clutch. He actually chose that because we just see a pile of cards, but if he pitched stack everything, he knew that he was gonna draw the Oasis respite and mm -hmm. he was gonna be able to defend very well. And here we are back at swinging with a hammer. I think Sebastian's deck is very small now. Yeah. Not many opportunities to finish the game. Yeah. Not many blocking equipment too, so that's, yeah. And look at that, yeah, I think we always tend to forget that, but Pablo Pintor still has the iron hide legs, ready to block if he's in, uh, in a difficult situation, not able to block efficiently with his, the card form he's on. Yeah, guys, no pummel left. 
no yeah, way to yeah, yeah but no codex on the guardian side so game, yeah right? mm -hmm. the the yeah it's waiting for that probably mm -hmm. or atira sander i mean he has three of them so yeah and atira sander does the job as well mm -hmm. just needs to get yeah. any dominated attack and that's it two cards being used to block one of them being i and light and strike is definitely not a bad card not yeah <laughs> what you want to use to block yeah look at that he's drawing back up but still not yeah, n that's not the closing yeah. cards. We're just gonna still feel like a couple of, of of game of turns here in this game. So what do you do now if you're Pablo? Do you it's take it out to the face and say like, yeah, okay, it's only... He has a staunch response. Yeah, he has a... two attack reactions now, so he can it definitely ends. take this one. Yeah, it's nothing for him. Yeah, he has a sink below. Oh, the hell. That's a hurt. Is he paying in. for it? No, I don't think so. So Three. hell now. Go again. Three go again, yeah. Why am I starting to feel anxious? He had 19, now he has 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it's a final, guys. You cannot expect this to just go on without a fight. But that's what's it's great still, about this game, yeah. because sometimes you uh, you think that the games are close, but the the finals are decided by, I mean, the, the final turns are decided by just the, the player who is really ahead, taking, all to the fa taking a, a whole turn to the face and just attacking back and... and Look at Making sure that the opponent won't be able to block. Maybe a CNC with the tunic? Yeah, I think that's the best, probably. Yeah, and yeah. since he has a, a. we, I think we've seen a staunch response in his end, so he won't be able to use it to block this big attack. See? This Uzuri deck has some fuel left. There you go. Taking for six with the tunic counter and the resource floating. Look at this great chain that and has he, been he, built. Coming for six. And you can that still, staunch response is yet it's not useless in, uh, in his hands. I mean, he can still use it to pitch for the crown of seeds and then use... Uh, it, there's no resource left for the Vambres anyway, so he can, he can block with the Iron Eyed legs. So there you go, yeah. See? It's a red one, so he can only... Double block. And that's... Uh, yeah, but because of the spider's bite, it's... He's gonna take some damage. Yeah, two yeah. damage. Should be two, alright. Oh no, there's one from the clan, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day, yeah, but yeah. yeah, one damage still. Well, still one damage. Yeah. Does he have a blue to attack? Does oh, he, he doesn't have a blue, back. yeah. So now oh, Sebastian can come back with a full hand. But now he oh, we see there you go, Sander you see the Terra and the and Grande. Yeah, but the Macho Grande won't be able to be used. Oh, he can yeah, he if has he a takes the yeah. in his hand though. I mean, I think that you just want to take damage now. Oh, no, you, now can, you can play the Macho Grande. You can even play the, the Pulverize if you want to, but you need to take everything to the face this turn. Yeah, but can you do it with 9 life? Can you allow yourself uh, to I just don't, take I damage? don't know. It depends on what Sebastian is doing with, the, with his attacks. Sometimes, you know, these Uzuri players that don't have the, the right stuff back at the right time. I so. mean, it was 16 to 1 and it's 9 yeah. to 1 now, right? And look at the crown being used to prevent the dagger. Down to seven. So he actually took damage. Okay. So now, in fact. Yeah, Pablo, Pablo has to be to very six. careful now because, yes. yeah. Wow, what a game. Six to okay, one. what do you, Uzuri attack? Shakedown. Oh, Shakedown. And yeah, and, and the sing below, oh, nice. Wow. Wow, wow. After, at the perfect time again. Yes. What a defending master. Hey. And now, he's hey, this got... This game is getting yeah. near and nearer. But I think I he can just use he, he can use the Tierra Sunder with the with the shield. Oh no, oh, the Macho Grande, there oh, you go. Wait, so that, is it. there a defense reaction in Sebastian Hand? But in Arsenal. In uh, in his Arsenal, yeah. I 
think. Oh, 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 wow! Finishing it up with a match wow, of the wow, day in spectacular fashion. Yeah, what a match! <laughs> That's that probably the, the most amazing cut to yeah. finish off the wow, game with. Wow, that dominates really punishing. And I think that we just witnessed an historic event here. Yeah, all it is. is going to get in living legend. The yeah. old, old, old him, it's gone. That was uh, wow. That what was very game. impressive once again. Games. I mean, what what a game again. We saw the semifinals. There were that was an amazing display of defensive capabilities. But in, in this game, Pablo managed to put together strong turns to attack his opponent and to get him down to one with the help of the Palmos. And there, where uh, the match Grande was too much, so very impressive defensive well game. Done. Very, very well impressive. Done. Yeah. But also big up to to Zuri that managed to climb back to yeah. from 16 to one to six to one. You know, it's still it still mm -hmm. made Pablo sweat for the prize, and I think that was uh, a really good final. I'm really happy to have been witnessing this with you all, chat. It was it was great. It was great, yeah. It was amazing. I'm and so happy that I got to watch it first and you with you, man. Yeah, yeah it was that cool. Was, so was amazing. the plan was after the finals, we'll wait and let Pablo celebrate for a little for 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 a few minutes, and then maybe That's come back with an yeah. interview if he feels like it. So okay, so someone is telling me that. Now there's a picture with the trophy and then he's going to come back with us for a short interview. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions for the man himself, for the man of the hour, for our friend Pablo Pintor, don't hesitate and post it in chat and we'll ask him. Okay? And yeah, uh, but uh, so we're going to go on a break? Uh, yeah, I think we can the... take a short break and, and go... Con or maybe we're, not. We're getting maybe maybe no break. Maybe we're not allowed to go on a break. But yeah, yeah. Maybe. Okay. Sorry, guys. We are we were getting some some information from the from all the people you don't see that actually making this stream great. I would like to thank all of them. Thank you all guys. Yeah, I, I think we can actually name them because there's lots of people behind the scene making sure that the event is a success. Of course. So obviously a big thank you to Erika who's been casting with us, to Kugane who's been with us, to our guests, uh, Mathieu who came to Matthew cast again well, this morning which was amazing, to Johan who's behind the scenes and working uh, working on uh, on making sure that uh, everything is yes. following perfectly. And orally. Yeah, orally obviously, of the course. mastermind of everything and the genius be behind everything that you see on your screen, it's thanks to orally. Yes, so definitely. just. A she big, a yeah. if you're you. behind, uh, in front of your screen, just a small round of applause to Orly because she's been amazing, obviously. And the biggest thank you to Pablo Pinter from the chat that got uh, rid of all the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, once again, we've seen an amazing game. Do you really want to, to get rid of these games? No, actually, I'm kind of sad let the, Yeah, let these yeah. heroes live longer. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to see him retire. I know he's old, but... I'm sad that to, fight, to to see him go actually. So this yeah. is gonna bring a big change in the meta for sure. A it's huge gonna change, be a, yeah. A crazy, it's, it's gonna be crazy. It changes everything it's, actually. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's the first hero gone in both formats. That's mm -hmm. true, and that's uh, we saw in Blitz that the meta really changed a lot after Icelander and Odin mm -hmm. got banned without all the frosty thing. It really it really became a kind of a completely different setup, and now we are. Back yeah, to it's gonna the, be. Um, it's gonna to be the, way different. To, yeah, to a new meta, and that's yeah. very exciting. Before the new set comes out in a few months, a couple of months, and we'll see the new, the new heroes, the new prism, the mm -hmm. the new shadow room blade. That's gonna also shake up the meta. 